Hello coders, I hope you are coding well. In the previous video, we wrote the code to call signup API from our Angular application. And after this, we tested the API in browser. And in today's video, we will create login user API in our Spring Boot application. So let's get started. So in our Spring Boot application, first of all, we need to create a method in the service. And to do this, we will open user service implementation. And in this class, we will start writing a new method. And this method will return a user and we will import it from quiz server dot entities package. And after this, we will name this method as login. And after this, in the params of this method, we need to accept the email and the password of the user. And to do this, we will use user class. So we will write user here and we will name this as user. And after this, in the body of this method, we need to get the user by the email. And then we will compare the password of the user. And at the end, if the password is same, then we will return user object. Otherwise, we will return null. So we will create one optional variable and we will import the optional from java.util. And after this, we will mention user class here and we will name this variable as optional user and after this we will use user repository and we will call a method find by email and in the params of this method we need to pass the email so we will use user and we will call a method get email and after this we need to check the availability of our optional user so we will write if condition and in this we will use our optional user and we will call a method is present and after this if our user is present then we need to compare the password so we will write and and then we will use user and after this to get the password we will call get password method and after this for the comparison of this password we will call dot equals method and in the params of this method we need to pass the password which we are getting from the db so we will write optional user and after this we will call get method and at the end we will call get password and after this if this condition is true then we need to return the user so we will write a return statement and we will use optional user and after this we will call get method and after this in the else case we need to return the null so after the if condition we will write return null and with this our login method is completed in the user service implementation and after this we need to create find by email method in the user repository so let's open user repository and in this class we need to create a new method and this method will return optional user and we will import the optional from java.util and then we will mention user and after this we need to write the query so we will write find by email and in the params of this method we will mention string and we will name this as email and with this find by email method is completed in the user repository now let's open user service implementation and as you can see the error is gone now let's copy this and after this we will open user service and we will mention this here and after this we need to write the code to call this method from the controller and return the response and to do this we will open user controller and in this controller we will start writing a new method and this method will return response entity and we will name this method as login and after this in the request body we need to accept the user so we will add at the rate request body annotation and after this we will mention user and we will name this as user and after this in the body of this method we need to call the user service so first of all we will create an object of the user and we will name this as db user and after this we will choose user service and we will call a method login and in the params of this method we will pass user and after this we need to check our db user and if our db user is null then we will throw an error and otherwise we will return the user and we will send the status as ok so we will write one if condition here 
and in this if condition we will use db user and we will compare it to null and if this is true then we need to throw an error so we will write return statement and we will use new response entity and after this in the body we need to send a message and we will give this as wrong credentials and after this we need to send the status and to do this we will use http status dot not acceptable and after this in the else case we need to return the ok status and user details so we will write a return statement and we will return new response entity and after this in the body we will return db user and at the end to return the status we will use http status dot ok and after this we will annotate this method with at the rate post mapping annotation and for the url we will set slash login and with this our login api call is completed now let's run our application and as you can see our application is up on port 8080 without any errors now let's go to the postman and let's test our login api call and in the postman for the request type we will select post and after this we need to enter the basic url and we will give this as http localhost 8080 and after this we need to give the path of the controller which is slash api slash auth and at the end we need to give the path of the method which is slash login and after this we need to pass the request body so we will click on the body tab and after this we will click on raw and in the body of this api first of all we need to pass the email and after this for the value i will pass the email as root at the rate gmail.com and after the email we need to pass the password and in this i will pass the password as root one which is wrong password and now to call the login api we will click on this send button and as you can see we got the status as 406 not acceptable and after this in the response body we got the message as wrong credentials and after this let's update our password in the request body and we will give the right one this time and now let's click on the send button again and as you can see we got the status as 200 ok this time and after this in the response body we got the user details where id is 3 and email is root at the rate gmail.com and the role is user and that's it for today's video in the next video we will create login page in our angular application